Today a look at running programs that require user access control or an elevated program shortcut prompt to run. So let me give an example. In my taskbar I have a shortcut to something called Prime95. And it asks me a question and then it runs. Under options I set it for start at login. So that was the easy part. The problem is when you go to use it at automatically at login. Let me explain. So I'm going to log this machine off, log right back in again. And you'll see it's running some startup stuff. This is a server OS, but Windows 10 would be similar behaving. Don't really need the server manager. I'm going to close that. And there we go, user access controls coming up, giving permission to run this Prime95. And then it runs. Well, I want it to be unattended. I want it to automatically start and start abusing the CPU as soon as the system uh, runs. So to do that, I want to show you. There's actually a delay, a 30 second delay script that's about to run too to uh, give me a task manager view that shows on my start bar. All right, so this article on the right is about avoiding the pop-up or clicking OK, unattended. And the workaround is kind of uh, ingenious from the folks at Seven Forums where they walk you through making a task scheduler uh, shortcut. All right, I don't have cut and paste the way I'm doing this. I have a remote control solution here where you can see me remotely controlling the machine. And uh, we don't lose access when I restart it or log off and log on. So this is going to be really handy. Okay, so I'm going to hit Windows plus R to bring up the Start Run dialog. And then just start typing. Task. Bring up the Task Scheduler. Create a task. Now in my case, I put it in a nice, easy-to-use folder, a copy of that. Util. Prime95. Simple. So that's the application we're going to want to kind of configure here. You can have any number of use cases, but my particular story is about not wanting to have to click OK because I want it to be running automatically at startup. So Prime95 we'll call it? Sure. Notice run with highest privileges is what you want to turn on. Great. And then change the OS that I'm on. You're probably going to be on Windows 10 or Windows Server 2016 if you're on a modern OS. Just pick the thing that matches yours the closest. I go to Actions, New, sorry, so we give it a name, and then we give it a full path. Now I would not recommend ever uh, not cutting and pasting. In other words, hit Windows plus R, back up to get rid of whatever's there, drag and drop the executable, and it types the whole path for you. And now, simply cut and paste that with Control V after the quote, and then do a closing quote. All right, so now I've done essentially what this demo shows me to do, or this uh, walkthrough. All right, is there anything else? Yes. Looks like they want me to head over to the Conditions tab. And um, what's it telling me to do? Uncheck. Check this one first and then uncheck this one. All right. And then click, click OK. All right, now I can do a new shortcut. So let's reduce confusion and clutter. Close a bunch of stuff that I'm not using anymore. I'm actually going to minimize this. I believe I'm done there as well. So I'm going to right click, new shortcut. All right, in the next screen, we should have a chance to type it. 
And if I really want, I can do a different icon if I don't like that one. All right, so I successfully made um, a shortcut, but I really want it in the startup folder. So remember how I mentioned the app itself has a feature for start automatically? I'm going to turn that off and make sure that bit stuck. I don't want it in the common startup group because I've made a special icon to start it there. Start it login is off. And for people following along, you probably do want a different icon. Uh, if you're going to leave this icon around, um, you could change the icon like it says over here. Right click, change icon. For me, I'm just going to move this whole thing I've created into the startup folder. Where is the startup folder? Windows key plus R. Um, I'm forgetting the syntax here. Just a second, I look it up. Yeah, I pretty much had it. All I got to do is type shell common startup like that hit enter boom we're in the startup folder move this over i right clicked and dragged it i let go click move and now i can test it so when i double click that it should run and the cpu should be abused and it failed why because I forgot the dash T parameter. So Prime95 has a dash T parameter to have it auto run without that prompt. So I kind of messed up just a little bit. It's okay. I still have this running. Just go into this thing I created. Right click. Properties. Actions. Edit. dash T. Okay, that should do it. Back to the startup folder and test it again. Yay, success. All right. So now, The real test does it really auto start without any keyboard or mouse interaction whatsoever that's the whole point of this for me anyway some other junk auto started that we don't care about like server manager and an error whatever because i don't have a usb cable plugged in fine but is my cpu being abused that's what i really wanted to know and the answer sure appears to be yes Yay. So I've jumped right into an uh, abuser CPU mode. Perfect for the video I'm about to do. Showing some stress tests on this machine without even needing a local keyboard or mouse or anything plugged in. So that's it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and thanks for visiting tinkertry.com.